I think AD represented a very steep learning curve for CCM actors. We had to learn to respond in an urban context and in particular to manage camps by geographic areas rather than camp by camp. Uh, we had to learn how to support returns in collaboration with local authorities, the mayors, the service provider. And I think we created the concept of community resource centers to help this process. And then finally, I think uh, one of the tools that were de developed there was the uh, rental subsidy, which was a way to give cash to uh, IDPs to allow them to choose a place that they could rent. And the place had to have minimum standards in terms of access to water and electricity. And that was a big game changer for the response there. Why was it unique? Because IET is an incredible place and anyone who has been there obviously knows about it. Second of all, because it was an urban disaster, the earthquake struck the capital city, a city of two and a half million people, mostly living in slums or informal settlements. And the humanitarian community had a very hard time to adapt, to respond in such a context. Finally, it was a humanitarian crisis on top of a development crisis, and that represented a huge challenge. What were the biggest challenges in Haiti? I think it was the, the scale of the disaster, uh, the damage uh, to the city. Uh, most of the roads were blocked. Uh, it was difficult to reach the camps. Um, we had teams of people on motorbikes. Some of the camps could only be reached by helicopter. And then the number of people and agency that showed up. We had uh, hundreds of NGOs showing up at cluster meetings. We had journalists showing up at cluster meetings. It was epic.